Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Maskell Sessions. I am your host, Jordan Maskell, broadcasting from my studio in High Level, Alberta. Lots to get to on the show today, but first, if you like what I do here on the Maskell Sessions and you'd like to support me, you can go to the Maskell Podcasting Network on iTunes, rate, review, subscribe, share it with somebody who enjoys podcasting. Show's also available on the app Stitcher and Podbay, as well as my official website, maskell.tv, so go there, check out all the content I have available, as well as, uh, you know, my upcoming Patreon, keep a uh, lookout for that, and finally, follow me on Twitter, at Maskell91, and you know, it's it's really been a slow news week. Slow news week, not a lot going on, uh, you know, COVID and, and all that stuff, same old, it's, it's just been really boring. What? Of course, ladies and gentlemen, the protests and the the death of uh, George Floyd, as uh, as you know, everybody's saying say his name and and things like that. And we're gonna break down all sorts of uh, I guess the the story itself of a uh, of a black man who was you know essentially killed, uh, whether it was you know. Uh, on purpose or inadvertently, he was killed uh, with a white officer's knee on the back of his neck. Now, normally you go, okay, we've heard this story before. Uh, you know that that bad white cop. You know he's taken out that innocent black uh, black gentleman, and you know that that sometimes is the narrative. There's been cases where. Um, a guy was, and I, this was a few years ago, a guy was arrested and he had his hands handca- handcuffed behind his back. Somehow he got away and the cop said that he stole, uh, the, the gentleman stole his taser. And luckily there was somebody in the neighborhood uh, filming through the fence where you could clearly see the gentleman with his hands handcuffed behind his back. And uh, essentially, fucking uh, the guy, the guy pulls out his gun, shoots him, and then I think just drops the taser. Like, whoops, a daisy, drops the taser. So the taser's laying, laying on the ground, and essentially uh, he claimed that you know he stole his taser, taser, took off, and that's why he shot him. And video evidence clearly showed that that was not the case. It was not doctored or uh, of any kind. Uh, same sort of s- scenario, although we'll get to some some conspiracies a little bit later, but I don't want to dilute the, the story too much uh, in the beginning because right now it's, uh, you know, people are people are quite upset about this, uh, apparently. Um, and, uh, and, again, there are a few things we have to take into consideration. Uh, what happened before the camera started, what happened after the camera st- stopped rolling, um, things like that. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking straightforward though, uh, that this gentleman was, uh, was essentially killed, um, by, uh, by the police officer. And I guess there's protests are continuing, uh, as we speak. Um, this is, I believe day four of, uh, of protests. So I'm not a hundred percent sure if they are going to be uh, solving this uh, issue of uh, any kind. Um, I'm gonna, of course, smoke a joint, and uh, let's let's take a little listen listen here at what uh, exactly happened with uh, George Floyd. Derek, uh, what's Derek's name? Chauvin, Chauvin, I think. Okay, uh, so Derek Chauvin and. Uh, I wonder how long he's going to last in jail because he's been arrested at this point, but it's such a high profile case that I think they had a video. um, I'm not even 100 percent sure if it was legit video from uh, his house, but there was tons of fucking police uh, protecting his family. Uh, And I think actually his wife just threw him under the bus where, you know, there might have been not any marrow. There could have been this guy could, you know. If he's doing this stuff as an officer, there's been, uh, you know, some complaints lodged against him. This guy could be a prick. And, you know, going home and maybe he's physical with his wife or or not. uh, Either way, she's divorcing him. And essentially, 
essentially used this as a, a reason as to you know she's so she's so traumatic it's it's such so traumatizing i honestly feel that a lot of people are hamming it up the, the in terms of how traumatic it is to them now you know to the african american community you know there's probably it's it, uh, there's probably situations where uh, they've experienced something like that, or, you know, maybe they know a friend, but if you're white and you're going, this is so traumatic. Oh, it's affected me so deeply. I, I honestly don't believe you. I, 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 you know, I, it could be bad. It's a bad situation, but impacting you to that degree, I don't really, uh, I don't really agree. Maybe this is another thing of, of white privilege, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know, but let's uh, take a little listen at this story. I can't breathe. One man's pleading, now a potent cry for black Americans. Pent up Pause. Anger. That looks like a fucking campfire right there. They're dancing around. This could be at the beach. No. They've, there's been a lot of fires over the last few days. Uh, several, um, uh, you know, several protests across major cities. I guess they shut, had to lock down the White House yesterday. And, and Trump, Trump's hilarious because, again, I, I, I love Trump think he's fucking and you know out of out of the choices joe you know sleepy joe biden or donald trump i'll tell you right now donald trump is doing a much better job but everybody wants to blame him like would trudeau is trudeau getting the same shit you know with the blackface comments and stuff and i don't even know if trump has actually said racist stuff uh like he's never said i've never heard him say the n-word uh so you know i don't know I don't know if there's a lot of uh Oh, here here we go. Great this was this is his his tweet. Great job at the White House by the Secret Service or great job last night at the White House by the Secret US Secret Service. They were not only totally professional but very cool. Hey, cool like Fonzie. <laughs> uh I wonder if they could, you know, turn a jukebox on, on without, you know, without even using any quarters. You just hit the side of it and you know, one of the 50s or 60s uh, style music comes on. Um, I was inside, watched every move, and couldn't have felt more safe. They let the protesters, in quotes, scream and rant as much as they wanted. But whenever someone, that's come on, load Twitter, got too frisky, got too frisky, they're trying to jerk off one of the Secret Service guys, uh, or out of line, they would quickly come down on them. Hard. It's nothing that, you know, you like coming down on somebody than hard. I uh, didn't know what hit them. The front line, well, probably rubber bullets and <laughs> tear gas. Uh, the front line was replaced with fresh, fresh agents, like magic. It's like, it's like an illusion. This is like David Copperfield sort of shit. You know, we have uh, some Secret Service guys, whoosh, some sleight of hand, boom, fucking brand new fresh, uh, fresh guys. Um... Big crowd, professionally organized, but nobody came close to breaching the fence. If they had, I picture of it, it's kind of like Lord of the Rings, uh, the two towers where they, I think the place is, they have that castle. I forget what the name of it is. Search it up. Um, but they have this castle and, uh, oh, Helm's Deep. Helm's Deep. Look at that. Um, so you have all these orcs and shit going in to try to breach Helm's Deep, and they eventually do, and it's it's one of the better parts of uh, the, the three movies. But I can't see it being like this where... It, it, or maybe it gets to that point where people go in there, guns blazing, fucking machetes, and they come out with Donald Trump's head, like, you know, Kathy Griffin or, or some shit. Um, big crowd, professionally organized, but nobody came close to breach defense. If they would, they would have been greeted with the most vicious dogs... Smithers released the hounds uh, oh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, and most ominous weapons I have I have ever seen. That's when people would have been really badly hurt, at least. Many Secret Service agents just waiting for action. Quote, we put the young ones on the front line, sir. They love it and good practice. End quote. As you saw last night, they were very cool and very professional. Never let in uh get out of never let it get out of hand thank you on the bad side the dc mayor uh muriel bowser who is always looking for money and help wouldn't let the dc police get involved not their job 
And that's in quotes. And he wrote, nice. <laughs> I love Trump's tweets. I fucking love them. Uh, so, yes, there's been quite a, a lot of protests. And we're going to I'm going to, of course, give my opinions on protesting and looting and vandalism and all that lovely stuff. Uh, but let's get a little bit to the story so I can uh, burn this joint. <laughs> over police brutality, compounded by quarantines and job losses, leaving South Minneapolis today charred and smoking from worsening violence. I'm the smoking over are here. symbolic of uh, decades and generations of, of pain. Of Pause. Uh, the one thing, that too, is there's a lot of excuses. That's one of the excuses, decades of pain and shit. Now, if somebody spits at your on your burger at McDonald's, do you blame the whole staff or do you just blame that one employee? Like, it's a serious question. Like, like if if a police officer, if you know, I've I've had a couple bad incidents with uh, with police officers, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm white, so a lot of people have had bad interactions with police. Uh, but you know, it it does seem the way it is portrayed, at least that uh, African Americans are disappropriately uh, targeted, at least uh, in these sorts of situations where you have somebody who uh, who passes away and dies. Anguish, unheard, much like we failed to hear George Floyd. Pause. And and uh, the thing too is um, when they're signing, they're doing the sign language. Like it's like she's signing like 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 he George Floyd got fucked by the police and it, rightfully so but I find that the hand gesture some of that shit when they're going so quick some of them are questionable others you know they've gotten fake guys in like uh, certain hurricanes and things where they just sign and they make up hand signs and people are just looking going what the fuck is that guy doing overnight demonstrators stormed the police precinct building setting it ablaze. Police had abandoned burn, it baby, burn. for safety. Disco the inferno. But that meant little police surveillance or protection for hours as the fire burned and demonstrators ratcheted up street battles and looting. Look at that the shit. Enforcement. Pause. Came. That looks like fucking Toronto, the G20 summit. I think it was the G20 summit, but Marconi was there. It doesn't seem as violent as that, but there was <laughs> there was definitely violence in with these protests. And you look over over in over there uh, in in, uh, in in eastern countries, there's a lot more more of this shit going on, right? So <clears throat> so essentially, uh, this is this is kind of shocking to see in North America, but it's it's expected, of course. Look at the fucking carnage that's going on. Later, setting up an armed perimeter, forcing people back. The National Guard, 500, are at the ready, and the governor is pleading for calm. Well, they've been already dispatched. Humane way to get the streets to a place where we can restore the justice. A step today, the officer who pinned George Floyd to the ground, then kneeled on his neck was charged with third degree murder and manslaughter. Pause. And and again, we're going to get to my thoughts on the whole arrest and, and things like that momentarily. Uh, but just the way they write, they the, the news is supposed to be non-biased, just reporting the facts. And the way that she's talking, it gives the sympathy of, oh, you know, this terrible officer. You know, the guy is terrible. The guy's a piece of shit. Like, don't get it twisted. But it's the bias in the reporting that that drives me up the fucking wall. The story, again, the story seems pretty black and white, pun intended. Uh, white officer kneels on black suspect too long, kills them, uh, whether intended or not, and now faces murder charges. Pretty straightforward. But the way that she talks, the way that she's saying it, you could just talk normal like this. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know, be like, oh, and he got killed and, you know, it was great and like sound like super happy and excited, but you don't have to sound like it's, you know, you're making viewers, you know, sympathetic already to the story by talking like this way since they can't see your voice. So I, I hate that bullshit with, uh, with news, but we continue. This is by far the fastest we've ever charged a police officer. No but shit, no like three days. the other three officers who watched and were fired. Pressure now to arrest them too. They all need to be held accountable, just as if it was four black men that killed somebody. It's uh -oh. a decade. Pause. Old. Who is who is that? 
<laughs> who the fuck was that? Uh, and they just throw up people. They don't say who's talking. They tell the other people, who's this? Who's a, Who are they? Well, I remember the Surgeon General. Maybe that's Big Mama. Who knows? But it's just like they don't fucking identify. It's just somebody's opinion. Some man on the street. Imagine if you somebody, some, you got some man on the street and the guy was like, oh, Hitler's okay. And they're like, fuck, we, we didn't mean that sound bite. Like, who the fuck is this? But, okay, she's in the story. If it was a relative or something, maybe it is a relative. But she's not identified. So who the fuck is it? But we'll continue. It's a decades-old pattern. Different justice. Pause. Says, There's still fucking everybody. It's it's. This is regardless of color. Now again, blacks are are disappropriately uh, targeted and things like that. But a lot of people have been killed by police. Again, not not you know making it seem like this is is uh uh you know isn't a wrong thing. But there's been a lot of other ones, and now and now the the way that um the way that she says it is just again it, there's favoritism and it makes you lean towards that way more in the story. Again, play the facts and let people make up their own opinion, which I would assume most people would be like, yeah, it's fucking wrong. Besides like white supremacists and you know the the those uh who uh, i guess mingle with uh white supremacists aryan nation shit like that floyd's brother everybody is reacting off of pain black men dying every day minneapolis st paul's is bracing for another violent night as fury ricochets undampened by a pandemic There is a curfew tonight in the Twin Cities, all night till 6 tomorrow morning. The governor desperate to contain this violence that Good erupted luck. all Good luck. around here last night. You can see the charred remains of a business center, and the precinct is just over here. You can still see beyond this truck the glow of fires already tonight and tear gas as state police tried to disperse the crowd still here to push them back there are still hundreds around here swinging around in their trucks and waiting for the next thing to happen there is it a will sense, happen too that this isn't going to end even with the arrest of one police officer even for murder charges what's happened here has ignited protests across the country and this idea of I can't breathe is really stirring up and igniting deep and painful injustices. People here aren't ready to let this go. They're still waiting well, who the for fuck what is this? happen to the other how much officers that's really our time. and I for apologize. some kind of real change before all of this will end. Ian. Juan. Susan Ormiston reporting from Minneapolis tonight. Oh, thanks, Susan. I uh, couldn't have done it without you. Uh, this was uh, actually, um, I want, before we get too far into it, uh, just the whole black comment. Uh, Joe Biden, of course, Sleepy Joe. Um, we open up here. He's speaking with this guy named Charlemagne the God. Uh, the God, and the is spelled T-H-A. Um, and let's hear uh, his thoughts on, uh, you know, black and, and stuff like that. Uh, go, Joe. Go, well, you know, Thanks so them. much. That's really our time. I apologize. You can't do that to black media. You I can't do that to white media and black media because my wife has to go on at six o'clock. Okay. Why not oh, just media? Oh, oh, I'm in trouble. Listen, you got to come see us when you come to New York, VP Biden. It's I a, will. It's a long way until November. P we pause. Got... Or you guys can v come visit me at the nursing home. Oh, I'm in trouble. Joe is, he's lost. He's a lost man. He's not fit to be president, but they parade him out there. And now he, and this is another example where he thinks he's speaking to, uh, and, and again, it's all this race shit, black media, white media. Why can't it just be media? What the fuck? Like, like the more people have want to be into more individualized, the more, um, the more, you know, disconnected everybody is. Everybody thought it was like, oh, people are going to be able to express themselves. They're individuals. They, you know, are, are doing all this great stuff. And really, everybody's more divided than ever before. But Joe, Joe has a message for all all you black people out there, as uh, as Joe would say. More questions. You got more okay. questions. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, 
And you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It Paza, has- you ain't black. And he's so fucking... And then he smiles, and then after, there's an apology. But let's hear Joe say that again. More questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. It don't have nothing to do with Trump. It has to do with... <laughs> you ain't black, according to Joe. If you if you got a problem voting for me and Don... And there's a lot of people who are African-American who vote who voted for Donald Trump and according to Joe they're uh they're not black according to Joe of course we got to take that with a grain of salt cuz fuck look at him look at him ladies and gentlemen it's the old like they are basically propping him up with fucking um uh I don't even know what they got him on like strings like a puppet kind of talk Joe He's just like all comatose at the, at the nursing home. When's Matlock on? <laughs> Fucking Joe Biden. Uh, so yeah, this is, I guess, a breakdown of the time uh, of what happened. It's just after 8 p.m. on May 25th, and the security cameras of this local restaurant are rolling. The indicated time is about 20 minutes fast. A blue Mercedes has been parked curbside on East 38th Street for several minutes. Okay. We do not have footage showing when it arrived. George Floyd is in the driver's seat. Yes. A police car pulls up in front of this local convenience store and two officers walk in. Minneapolis police said in a statement, their officers responded to a report of a forgery in progress, meaning in someone progress. was trying to use counterfeit money in a store. A few minutes Pause. later- I was gonna say forgery in progress. How is a forgery? It's like. It's like you, you only get your first name, like a, your first fake name written, and you, you're maybe halfway through the second, and they put the cuffs on you. They stop you in progress. But no, she, of course, explained. And uh, Okay, so he's – so what? Did the guy, like I assume Asian man who owns the store, go, hey, no, he's over there, or, you know, East Indian or, or something like that? And no, George is, is parked across in his uh, – I guess the passenger door is open. I don't know why that is, but – we continue. The officers crossed the street and approached the vehicle. The police said they found the suspect in his car. Okay. The first officer approaches the driver while his partner walks around to the passenger side. The interaction between the officer and Floyd can't clearly be seen from this angle, but the driver of this black vehicle filmed part of it on his phone. The officer struggles to get Floyd out of the car. His colleague walks over to help him put the handcuffs on. The black car drives off. Okay, he's like, fuck Floyd enough of that. Floyd falls briefly to the ground. The officer helps him back up before leading him towards the sidewalk where he directs Floyd to sit on the ground. Okay. I'm with A you so far. A police car shows up to the scene. So far, Adapted so good. body cam footage from that new officer was released by the park police chief. Pause. The fuck, o- he just tra- The guy morphed into a black square, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck. It's like Transformers. He's a shapeshifter. Now, of course not. It's uh, apparently it's uh, I guess they have to blur out the the footage or anything like that. We continue. Officer exits the car to see his two colleagues questioning Floyd and two people who were just in the car. A few minutes later, the officer helps Floyd up off the ground. The video has no sound, so we don't know what was said between the two officers and Floyd in this moment. They walk him across the street back towards their squad car. Okay. Floyd falls to the ground once more. Police originally said they noticed Floyd going into medical distress and called an ambulance to the scene. Okay. Another police car pulls up, obstructing our view from this angle and making it hard to clearly see what unfolded in the next four minutes between the officers and Floyd. Pause. Well, what the fuck was it with, uh, so he's on the ground and, and then what, what, what can you do on the ground when you're handcuffed? You probably like wiggle around and shit, but there's probably limited mobility to be quite honest with, uh, with, um, I guess, uh, I guess the vehicle here and, uh, you know, block, it blocks so we can't fucking see, but, Again, he started to, before it came, he was already going to the ground. 
don't they tell you to get on the ground when you're uh, when you're a police officer? Because again, there's again we have to find out context and stuff. But it seems suspicious as to why your fucking knees on the guy. So isn't it better if it's on the back so he can't move around? Like you really gotta get your fucking knee right there on his on his head. The head can't. The mouth can't go for the gun. I don't think. We do see Officer Chauvin pull up to the scene with his colleague. Pause. Oh shit, Officer Chauvin wasn't even fucking there. This is fucking crazy. Okay, can we just, uh, we want to, uh, I want to see if I got an image of, uh, if, of Officer Chauvin. Because uh, Officer Chauvin, uh, Derek Chauvin, is it Chauvin's or Chauvin? Holy fuck, he's so dumb. He's like he could be the dumbest. You thought George Green was fucking terrible. Like this guy could be one of the dumbest police officers I've ever cuz he wasn't even fucking there. Now, this changes this makes it even worse. This makes it even worse, ladies and gentlemen. And the reason I say that is because before there was context. These police officers have been dealing with uh, with, 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 uh, with, Air, what's the fucking guy's name? George, George. They're dealing with George's, uh, issue. Um, and, uh, so they already have, like, spoken with him. They've, they've put him up against the wall. Derek comes out like a bat out of hell. I'm sure he sees the guy on the ground. He's like, oh, fuck, I'll help them. Puts his fucking knee on the, the back of the guy's neck like some sort of asshole. And, uh, and that, and that's essentially it. Like, okay, like, this is way worse than initially thought. It was already bad. Like, fuck, there's no way Derek's getting out of this one. Can we put up an image of Derek? Let's see, uh, let's see a picture of Derek. So, yeah, he looks like a kind of a goofy motherfucker already. And he, he just shows up. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll put my knee on this guy's neck. Holy fuck. Derek, you're, you're a dumb motherfucker, man dumb motherfucker because again there was before i was kind of like okay well what was happening during this D like was there already an incident or derek just shows up you know maybe because there's a twist there's a bunch of twists to the, the story uh we'll have to have something at the end to cleanse the palate too because i need to talk about you know at least one different thing besides uh besides you know this this white officer uh killing uh this this black gentleman uh you know, by on purpose or by mistake. I doubt it was on purpose. Like he he got up there. Oh, we finally got one on the ground. You know, now's my opportunity. So I don't think it was probably like that. But fucking common sense kind of dictates the guy's on the ground, hands behind his back. He's already laying flat on the ground. What does the putting the knee on the neck do? I don't get that part. Because we got, like, actually, we'll, pull, we'll finish the, because the, the video that they have, um, uh, we'll, well, actually, we'll just play this clip out, and then we'll play the, uh, the video. And behind the vehicle's open door, we can make out what seems to be a struggle. Make out? They're Whatever making out? Whatever was happening between oh, hold on, the pause. Oh, they're making out behind that vehicle? Oh, I'm, ki I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. This is a comedy show, too. News and comedy. Or at least I, 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 I attempt it to be. At that very moment, caught the attention of this passerby who stops to watch. Two minutes later, a witness standing on Chicago Avenue captures part of the scene unfolding behind the squad car. One officer looks over as three of his colleagues restrain Floyd, who is lying face down on the ground in handcuffs. We don't know how Floyd ended up on the ground. One officer is pressing his knee into Floyd's neck, which we see clearly in this video, taken only seconds later by another witness standing in front of the grocery store. Seconds later. She captured the next 10 minutes of his deadly arrest up until he is taken away in an ambulance. Okay. And so the, uh, essentially, this is the fucking video um, that uh, apparently was film or at least part of the film so it'll probably be disturbing warning to viewers of course you want i can breathe please the name of it on his I neck 
Pause. He can't breathe shit. And the guy is pressing down. And his hands are in his pockets. Who is this, Orange Cassidy? Fucking, what's this guy doing? That's a wrestling joke. No one else will get it unless you watch wrestling. What the fuck's this guy doing with his hands in his pockets? Like, shouldn't you be, like... Is 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 he, like, trying to, like, do, like, a demonstration for fucking uh, some sort of, like, home shopping network? Look how hands-free you can be. Like, what the fuck? Why are your hands in your pocket, sir? Like, like, uh, yeah, you can reach for your gun, you know, and maybe, maybe that's what he's doing. Cause I went to shake somebody's hand the other day and well, like I've said, I, I'm done shaking hands for a while. Uh, maybe ever. Um, and I p- just put my hands in my pockets. Maybe this fucking, this cocksucker was going to grab a gun and he was like, no, 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 I won't kill him. I'll just knee on it. I'll kneel on him. Like Ka- Colin Kaepernick, give him a little bit of taste of his own medicine he puts his hands in his pockets what the fuck are your hands in your pockets for this is dry that drives me nuts it's kind of like lazy too right like he takes his job that serious that his hands are in his just pockets we're arresting someone look how easy it is he just puts his hands right there like maybe i'll podcast i wish i could podcast for the rest i'm wearing like i'm wearing these jean shorts right now and essentially uh Essentially, uh, you know, what if I I was doing the rest of the show for the rest of the podcast with my fucking hands in my pockets? I couldn't touch the buttons. I couldn't play show clips. I can't do my job here, Derek. You're telling me you can be a police officer for a fucking, uh, what is it, Minneapolis? I can't even fucking say that. (laughs) Minneapolis. (laughs) <laughs> tongue twister I'm not warmed up well i guess i am uh but so so he uh, essentially again just a lazy motherfucker with uh with this uh-huh. bro get up get in the car man i get will up, get up get in the car i can't move i've been waiting the whole time ah. man. Ah. he's get up, screaming get, Mama. get up and get Mama. in the car right i can't you can't get your opportunity to get in, bro. I told you, you can't win. Pause. What the f- Who's saying that? It sounds like, hey, boy, I told you, boy, you couldn't get in that cop car. Why don't you get in now with my knee on your neck? Is that what the fuck is... is Der- I can't se- make out if Derek's talking or not. Get up and get Mama, in the car right. I can't. You can't get your opportunity to get in, bro. I told you, you can't win. My knee. You can't win, man. I'm through I know you didn't never you didn't listen. He's through, uh, he said. I got the phobia. Just my stomach hurts. Uh-huh. My neck hurts. Stomach hurts, uh, neck hurts. Hurt. Uh, there's water or something. He's got Please. blood on his fucking Please. Uh, I can't breathe all the blood. Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus Christ. That's fucked up. That's some fucked up shit. And again. Derek's got his hands in his pockets the whole fucking time. Like, oh, look at me, how easy it is to be a police officer. What the fuck, Derek, you dumb fuck? Jesus Christ. I was never on Derek's side, but I'm like, maybe there's more to this story. (laughs) It doesn't look like it. Yeah, there is more to this story. Derek and George used to work at the same fucking nightclub together. Back in, uh... Let's check out here. So it was, uh... Maya Santa Maria, Maya San, or yeah, I think it's Maya Santa Maria, owner of El Nuevo Rodeo Club in Minneapolis, uh, Minneapolis. <laughs> Maybe if I say it enough, I'll be able to say it. Uh, I'm also a little bit baked, but whatever. Uh, Southside until uh, selling it in 2019, uh, and confirmed to local media outlets that both Floyd and Chauvin worked security at the establishment. So fucking George and Floyd work together. Now, did they know each other? If if somebody works in a big fucking factory, do you know every person? I don't. I don't think that you do. Nightclub overlapping overlapping shifts. So Chauvin served as the night club off uh, club's off duty officer for nearly 17 years, while Floyd worked there for roughly a year in 2019 and did security for around a dozen events. Now, people are saying that maybe he knew them. I don't know if he did if he's already on the ground. And then fucking Derek comes up and he's just like, oh, look, a black guy on, I'll fucking, I'll take a knee. What the fuck, Derek? 
Derek's caused a lot of problems. Let's just say that. Derek, it caused a lot of problems. Uh, Santa Maria told ABC5, ABC5, uh, that she does not know if the two ever spoke because Chauvin worked outside the club while security guards like Floyd worked inside, but did confirm both men worked at the establishment for the whole of 2019. And then she uh, apparently said, if the two men had worked had crossed paths during their time at the nightclub, it would probably have not been something they remembered, Santa Maria told the star, partially because they were often several dozen people working security on popular music nights. Okay, so, um, and then she said Chauvin sometimes had a short fuse. No shit. Did we see the fucking, did we all watch the same video? Short fuse. Holy fuck, Derek, you cunt. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so essentially, uh, he always, <laughs> he seemed afraid when there was an altercation. That's what a lot of time. okay, so, this is my theory, this is my theory on, uh, cops with guns, or anybody with guns. If you're afraid, and your first instinct is to grab your gun, or, or you get angry and your first instinct is to grab a gun or a weapon or some sort of, of, of thing to commit harm, probably shouldn't have a gun. Just, just you know, throwing it out there. You probably shouldn't have a gun if, uh, if, if that's your go-to. Is, is I'm going to shoot you. You piss me off. I'm going to fucking fire a gun at you. Probably should take a... Take a break there, Derek, with the whole firearms thing. Uh, but it says he always yeah, resor- resorted to pulling out his mace and pepper spraying every, every, everyone right away, even when I felt it was unwarranted. Okay. And then some vice president of the Minneapolis uh, City Council. There, I got it. Uh, told MSNBC the two men worked together at the restaurant together uh, for 17 years and that Chauvin knew Floyd, but Santa Maria's account contradicts Jenkins' statement and Floyd reportedly only moved to Minneapolis around 2014. Now I'm showing off. I keep saying it. Uh, Yeah, so there are conflicting reports whether or not these two knew each other. Who knows if they, uh, they did or not. But let's just say the fucking protests are pretty goddamn wild right now across America. We got we how much uh we got a bunch of uh, clips of course to uh to play. Might as well just fucking open them all and just see what see what uh, happens. So there we have um what do we have there? Uh, oh, a burning auto zone. Pause. We'll get to that. We'll get to an auto zone too. There's, there's something. If I told you, ladies and gentlemen, we're going deep down the rabbit hole today. Uh, I need a roll in our joint. A <laughs> roll as, a uh, roll as this video, uh, as this, as these videos play. But we got the fucking burning auto zone here, and uh, it, that play comes into play a little bit later. A lot of fires. A lot of people are sad. Morning, George. Look at that. Then we have... Uh, their people are fighting with the police. Oh, this is in Washington. They're just fighting with these cops. Of, oh, pause. Is If this is not more symbolic of pro, the protesters, I don't know what is. Three white guys... <laughs> one looks to be a farmer. There are two. One guy's wearing uh, shorts, and it's like, why the fuck do you have shorts? But they have, uh, looks like sheet metal. They're holding up, but it's all, it's all. I thought it was a different community that was outraged. And trust me, I, I think it's wrong. I'm not particularly like, I want to beat up Derek or you know destroy my own community because of something somebody else did elsewhere, you know. But and, and honestly, it's going to get nowhere besides, you know, a lot of cleanup, a lot of cost to repair things that have have been damaged. So it's not like these protests are really going to change. And again, this is going to happen. But the amount of people uh, that were killed by the police, white is way higher than black, Hispanic, and any other color. Now, 
now you have to then split them up into justifiable. And what do you classify as justify when, justifiable when you cl- kill somebody, essentially? So, like, if if, if somebody's taking a, has a gun and they're drawing it on the police officer, I think you could shoot them then. But if they got nothing, like, they got their hands up and you fucking shoot them, I kind of have to say, like, that's, you know, incredibly wrong and you know that's when like okay murder charge and stuff oh no i thought i thought something was there i thought some i thought i seen something it's just like did you did you really well we'll continue this is minneapolis there's another white guy more Yeah, that, that one guy's like mentions uh, COVID nineteen. It's like, fuck. Are any of them social distancing? Social distancing really went out the window after this. More protests. More arrests. This is New York. Fuck. I've never been arrested, but Jesus. Pause. What 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 happens to cops in general are guilty too. This is where the issue is. Again, you know, I I get the whole I get I get the message. Don't get me wrong, but it you know does two wrongs make a right? White cops are guilty too. All cops are guilty too. If if there's if there's you know if they've acted wrongly and and things like that. But if you look at some inner cities, which again, we want, if we want to really go back, we look at the crack epidemic. We look at like, I think it was the CIA bringing crack into poor neighborhoods to sort of disrupt it and stuff. If I'm paraphrasing what, what happened. And again, that's a whole nother, whole nother can of worms right there. But, uh, there are, you know, I'm not saying that they, these communities haven't had it easy. They, you know, it seems like they haven't. But when you see some of them and some of these, you know, protests and, and things like that, that, you know, she's probably generally, I think it's a she. I don't want to misgender. Don't want to misgender, of course. Uh, but she seems pretty upset. So she's probably like legitimately upset. The people who are looting Target and we'll get, we got Target clips. Don't fucking worry. Target got <laughs> goddamn fucked over big time. Uh, these people are not upset by George Floyd. They see it as an opportunity to riot. And, uh, actually I got a good Malcolm X clip too, uh, kind of wrapping all this shit up, uh, which really, you know, it could be one, it's one thing for me to say it, but it's a whole nother thing when Malcolm X is saying it. So we'll, we'll continue some of these clips. Eric Gardner. Pause. Uh, uh, now, Eric Gardner, um, was he the one? I for, I forget which one he was. Oh, Eric Gar. Oh, I know who Eric Gardner. Is. He's the one who I can't breathe. He was selling stolen cigarettes or loose cigarettes or some shit. Anyway, there was a lot of fuck ups with with that. And uh, I, you know, there's again, there's been so many. But it's not popular. I like that Tupac shirt, by the way, Miss. Uh, you know, I don't like the maybe the praying part, but Tupac and it's him. Very nice. Uh, I di- I dig Tupac. He's you know I I like his music and I like you know other music too, like Ice Cube and and stuff. Ice Cube has been um, what was the there was a tweet I saw, uh, um, by Sam Tripoli, who Sam Tripoli, of course, uh, host of Tin Foil Hat. Um, let's see if I can find it real quick. Uh, well, we'll play. We'll play some more of this. Enough. They have to stop coming into our neighborhoods and brutalizing, terrorizing, and murdering our neighborhoods. Our- Pause. There's probably people of all different. Co- Again, the separation and and the diversiveness. Again, they everybody wants to be separate. People claim they want to be together. They don't want to be together. People want to be separate. And, you know, it's coming from people's own words. Again, their fucking kid got killed or some and some shit, you know? Like, so it's probably pretty difficult. But 
there's an agenda behind all this shit. There, there is. Young men and women. Look at that police vehicle on fire. So tell me who you are. Oh yeah, this is what I. Uh, this is I liked seeing this. These guys were there. Uh, are and funny, very. Isn't this hilarious? That the store that has guys with guns protecting it didn't get fucked with during the protest. All these other ones that we'll see here on the show and and uh, that have been uh, have been you know destroyed. I read there was like a radio station that was like a couple blocks uh, or or in the same building as the fire. No, no, maybe it was a couple blocks away. And this fucking radio station just got fucked by these people. So you know the protesting. The protesting, they're going after specific spots. Now, would these guys start firing everything, like, you know, lethal rounds? Maybe. And do people want to see bloodshed? Probably not. Some people do want to see bloodshed. They That's why they're invoking some of this. But we'll, these guys are fucking, they're, they're taking matters into their own hands. Well, I mean, free Americans, yeah. And so, what are you doing today? Uh, we were out here yesterday, too. Uh, down on the original protest site. So basically, you see the records that cops keep. And cops are a lot less likely to try and tread on people's rights when there's other armed Americans with them. So we figured it's about damn time that some, or at least I figure that it's about damn time some heavily armed rednecks stood with fellow citizens. See, and why are you protect- So they're not just protecting... Uh, the the citizens, but they're also standing with you know the fact that it's wrong that uh, that that George Floyd was killed, which it was it's fucking wrong. Anybody could see that. But um, they also believe that the looting and the vandalism is wrong too, which I agree with. Think this store. Well, I mean, this wasn't exactly a yeah. specified we action. We, we we've been kind of so well, we just kind of ended up here. We, we've been moving around and just trying to see what see what's what without getting necessarily completely slapped by massive groups of people. And uh, while we were walking, somebody mentioned that there were some guys at the back. I actually wanted to know if they were over to buy something, and uh, they said that they're they're closed and they're defending their businesses. Oh yeah, Target's on fire. Yeah. By the way. Uh oh. Yeah. But and anyway, so we heard that. Oh oh oh! Targets on fire. And turns out these guys around here with machetes and shattered windows trying to keep looters out of the business because cops can't get in here. And so you know, I figure before they were cops, they were just Americans. So here we are. <laughs> Already on during the LA riots. Or during the LA riots, collateral damage. I guess. protecting their own stuff. That's where you only got oh. term. God protect your own stuff. Bottom line, just for Floyd, and uh, I hope they stop looting at some point. If there are more of us, we could go stop them from looting, but it's just us four. Yeah, we, we definitely don't agree with the looting. Yeah, no, looting. But we do agree with moving. the cause of the protest. Yeah, definite protest. Yeah, see, they're... Oh, look at this fucking shit. Just a line of cops. There's fires. They got their hands up. Just broken bottles. Holy fuck. Look at how crazy this is. Oh, fuck. Fire some tear gas. Fuck you, they say. Everybody matters, but... Oh, there's a car on fire. That probably was just an accident, though. Wells Fargo, fuck, that's on fire. It's a big protest. Oh, we got some fireworks here. Jesus. Fireworks, there's fucking. There's tear gas, rubber bullets. Holy fuck. Oh, this is another big one. Another big protest. Just the fucking sheer size of this. Look at that. There's somebody break dancing in the middle of it. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Pause. Oh, look at that. There's a guy. He's busting a move mid mid protest. He's like, I got to dance. <laughs> he's fucking doing dance moves. <laughs> now is maybe not the time to break dance, sir. Holy fuck. And I, th- I don't even know what camera this would be at. News camera? There is definitely not any social distancing going on. This is like before, like, the calm before the storm. Everybody's kind of, like, still on edge, but nothing big has happened. Holy fuck. They set a gas station on fire? That's smart. Oh, this is a pause. There's a girl, or so there's a police officer. This is actually, this is a kind of uh, who's more justified, the cop or the? It's probably well, the cop who was getting hit doesn't, uh, you know, spoiler alert, doesn't uh, do it, but somebody else. And I'm like, holy fuck, just just laid her out. And you expect to hear like Chris Tucker, you just got knocked the fuck out. Fuck this nigga, bud. She's got up going up to the police officer. Slaps oh. him. Slaps oh. him. Pause. Oh, okay, and then she's already like, you know, so she's up in uh, up in his grill, as they say, up in his fucking grill. Um, and uh, this is not. Uh, <laughs> this is not uh this is probably not the best uh course of action to uh to take oh oh, oh. fatality oh. oh shit can we go damn yo damn see it's just like pause it's just like on the friday movies damn <laughs> let's see that again so she's she's not having any of it. Goes to lay the smack down, you know, on his candy ass. Oh. Slaps him. Slaps him again. Oh. Guy just cocks oh. her just down. Fatality. Damn, yo. Damn, son. That was awful, bro. That motherfucker knocked yo. out. And they're backing up emergency vehicles here. They're just marching forward. It probably sucks to be a cop right now. Just fucking up this vehicle. Well, can't say, uh... Oh, look at all the police officers, too, on this one vehicle. No. There's just a shit ton of them. Plus, and they... They all hold off. They're all on, like, the back of these fucking, like... They're, like, on the side of the cars and shit. They're kind of like garbage men a little bit. If the... <laughs> if, the, if the garbage men were black suburbans and probably carried machine piss or well I'm sure I'm sure machine guns at of some kind smaller caliber <laughs> oh there's another car on fire More violence. Uh, so the so again, there's so much shit going on there. Um, the comment that uh, about Ice Cube was basically the guy who uh, Sam Tripoli wrote this. The guy who basic because Ice Cube writes a wolf in wolf's clothing. The demons are among us. Fight the cowards. And it's just somebody who make America Great Again hat, which I've seen African Americans wearing as well. You know, so it's not just one. But Sam writes, uh, 
the the guy who basically was part of the elite establishment's psyop to push gangbanger culture on the black community so they would fill up their privatized prisons and destroy the black family unit is pointing fingers at people and this fu- and then he writes fuck institutional racism and the class warfare which i i think i think it's more so that i think there's a, a hidden agenda behind all all this you know cuz it's easy to do one thing and get people going but why? Why are they doing this? And we again, we got some, we got some interesting uh, theories behind this. Oh, and this is this is another one. Pause. And let's take a good look at uh, at that opening shot here, shall we? Now, if we were to guess, how many of these guys going into this? I think this target, how many of these guys are mourners who are actually upset about George Floyd? That guy in, with the Adidas shirt, fucking wide open, you know, he's he's, he's not concealing his identity at all or, or things like that. How many of these people are legitimately upset? No, they're not upset at all. They're like, now is our time to steal some fucking shit. That's what these people are. Not saying that there's not people who are upset and they're protesting. These are not them. The people doing the vandalism, the people doing uh, the looting, stealing. L- let's l- take a good look. Take a good fucking look at who is who is involved uh, in stealing and, and vandalizing. Because they're taking everything. Somebody looks like he's taking the fucking pop machine there. Just tons of people glass smashing. Fire trucks, building completely on fire. Not anymore. Nobody's getting their fucking mails. Now, is Amazon responsible if the uh, people's packages don't get get to them if it's if it's been burnt? Just tons of riots and look at that. Nobody wants to go to that post office. Just completely engulfed. But people are just walking by. Oh, it's not. What about the gas lines? People are 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 fucking idiots. Oh, they're just hanging out there. Somebody that actually looked like somebody set on fire of Molotov cocktail. All these police vehicles just getting smashed. Just smashing, smashing all these vehicles. Burn that shit down, they yell. Pot. Oh, there's the target. Yep, just a bunch of mourners, just people upset. They're like, oh, poor, poor George. I guarantee you, you go up to some of those people in the that are are looting and stuff. You go, yo, yo, uh, aren't you guys upset about George Floyd? And they go, yo, who that? <laughs> they just see you hear that one girl, burn that shit down, burn that shit down. Like they want chaos, they want anarchy, they want violence. That is 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 apparent with all this shit. They want all that stuff. They don't want uh, peaceful protests or, or things like that. But also now people are, the reporters are getting it too, which, you know, anytime you get too close as a reporter, it's like, you gotta fucking, you gotta be careful, you know, but here we have a reporter. Let's uh, see this. Okay. Okay. Well, you keep going. She's walking towards, and that's fine with us. Um, we got plenty of time. Are you okay? The guy's shooting her. Okay, Katie, are you okay? Rubber bullets, rubber bullets, it's okay. It's those pepper bullets. It's those pepper are they, bullets. That who are they the aiming machine. that at? Uh, now he's shooting at the photographer. At us, like directly at us. It's like the guy's directly. playing paintball. Why are they doing that? He's shooting at our crew. Was that Tipman? Do they not know that or Piranha? They see the camera. 
They probably didn't give a fuck. And then they, I guess, I guess they arrested a CNN reporter and its crew. And already at the beginning, they're like, oh no, they only arrested the black reporters. But that wasn't true. It turned out it wasn't true. They arrested both, uh, both sets of uh, reporters. Because if they're telling them to disperse and the media is like, oh no, we got to cover the story. If they tell you to disperse, at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, you got a story to tell. But they don't give a fuck. And they're going to they're gonna disperse you whether you like it or not. Seen in Minneapolis this morning, a line of police heavily, heavily reinforced, trying to keep protesters far away from the buildings behind that are burning. Minneapolis, this part of the south part of the city, burning this morning after a protest again turned violent for a third night. The protesters demanding answers, demanding justice after the death of George Floyd, demanding the four police Who's officers laughing? involved yeah. be charged. We're watching this. In the course of reporting on this this morning, I'm going to show you a scene. CNN reporter Omar Jimenez was live on the air reporting on the protests when this happened. Give us a second, guys. We can move back to where you'd like. We can move back to where you'd like here. We are live on the air at the moment. This is the four of us. We are one team. Do you mind telling me why I'm under arrest, sir? Why, why am I under arrest, sir? Well, he don't give a fuck. So there you see, and all of that transpired on their morning program. Jesus. Omar Jimenez, he and his crew arrested as they reported live on air. Um, and the cameras were rolling as that all happened. Fuck cops so are dumb. So what you're hearing now from CNN, in fact, just tweeting, we should show you this as well. They are calling for his immediate release and saying this is a violation of their First Amendment rights. Yeah, kind of. On, uh, kind of is. As well, to intervene in this situation. This is, this is no different uh, than... Um, than how other uh, journalists and reporters have been arrested in in the past, right? So, makes sense. Obviously, I don't I don't agree with this guy being arrested at all. Like, how dumb are the cops? We're live on the air, you guys, and they're just like. Because I also heard they were putting out uh, um, some way of disrupting communications so that the cops could jam people's signals and and things like that. Makes it harder for people to coordinate. If you just see a big group of people and they're walking towards a place with fucking pitchforks and bricks and fire and stuff like that pretty easy to find them but again like this was some of the stuff the authorities were doing but then the brothers protesters i forget where this was uh this was uh i guess um right in the, the main lobby of cnn cnn getting fucked getting a lot of press today it's, they don't even have to that's the dream right there you don't even have to leave the office to report on stories we're here inside cnn center we're just in the last 10 minutes Demonstrators have started to come up and down this thoroughfare of Marietta and break out windows of CNN Center. Uh, it was just a short time ago that they started shooting what appeared to be BBs at us. I was struck with a BB pellet. Uh, it's unreal to witness here, Chris. This police line, we just saw an officer extracted. An officer was down. We don't know exactly how they were injured. Another officer here that was uh, standing on these steps took some glass in the arm. Uh, these demonstrators are ready to confront these uh, law enforcement officers. You have law enforcement in heavy tactical gear, protesters that are, you know, clearly ready. You just see something else happen there. Another demonstrator threw what appeared to be a large object uh, at one of those SWAT officers. And they're just standing they're throwing there? They're signs at the police officers, and they're not showing any sign of dispersing in about 15 Pause. minutes. Well, this is kind of like... It's kind of like the guys doing play-by-play. -play. So this is about as much sports -er as we're getting right now. Na slowly, you know, like NASCAR's done some sports, UFC, of course, wrestling, if, you know, people count that as a sport. Uh, the golf, you know, golf was Tom Brady was back, Peyton Manning, uh, Phil Mickelson, and uh, Tiger Woods. But this is as close. This is like sports right now. Sports sports news. Let's go. They gave a, a, an order from the armored vehicles that had shown up here just outside. Those images, I'm not sure if you're looking at them. They gave the demonstrators an order to disperse. It was then that we Get saw the fuck out of there. show up in tactical gear, tear gas masks. And that's when we heard over the uh, radio that this was happening. They've broken out the windows here and are continuing to throw objects. There's just another projectile fired. Appear to be a full water, water bottle. 
Uh, Who's that girl standing in front of there? These two officers have been injured. One of them, it appeared to be seriously injured. He was being dragged out. You could see what's left behind of this glass, the glass partition. I'd hate to be a cop the there. These, these demonstrators are now launching something. It appears to be some sort of smoke grenade Oops. that they're throwing inside CNN Center right now. They're kicking it back out, guys. This is live happening in front of your eyes. They've just thrown... I think Powerade or some sort of Gatorade on the guys <laughs> on uh, the officers. Pause. A good plug for Gatorade and Powerade right there. Name dropping them. Yeah, the guy's throwing a smoke grenade or tear gas. Who knows what the fuck it is? But you see a lot of people outside. They've got no, uh, they've got no mask on, no protection. The cops are standing there, ready to fuck them up. Atlanta. That's where it's happening. Atlanta. You can see the the police officer's vest. <sighs> These officers are being confronted. That's an understatement. And these demonstrators, they know they know what's on the other side of this. They've been warned. These officers have already fired or deployed tear gas into the crowd. We saw another with a long gun fire what appeared to be a rubber bullet at another uh, demonstrator who had thrown a large object. You see these demonstrators are walking inside CNN Center at this point. It seems as though this, might, this man might be detained. He's being detained. Let's see if we can talk to him. See if we can talk to him. You guys are fucking dumb. You're not going to be able to talk to him. They're going to whisk him away. Watch Another him. rock just thrown there at police. We're right behind the police line. These are very large objects. Police being hit. Oh, this shit. This demonstrator, let's see if we could ask him why he was here, guys. Hey, why, why did you show up here today? Why are you oh, here? Dear. Why did you come here? What made you show up? They need to be changed. Here in our country, it's not black, white. Officers need to be trained better. So that so you throw bricks at them. Change better, throw okay, brick. No, Nick, you're still there. Are you okay? Hey, yeah, okay, yeah, sorry, sorry. I didn't know if uh, I was taken off the air. This is a live active situation. What did he say? I couldn't you hear all of it. I was trying to get an interview with the demonstrator. He said he wanted to, police can do better. Police can do better. I'm here for change. We've heard the chance of no justice, no peace. Another large object just thrown there at CNN. This is our home, Chris, you know. This is where we come to work every day. Journalists who are trying to tell the truth, trying to deliver trying. information. Uh, it's one of the fake. noble parts about society, and these demonstrators have decided pause. to come here today. So. What, what a load of bullshit right there, where he's just like, oh, you know, we're trying to tell the truth, we're trying to do this. Uh, just sort of, just bullshit, really. Uh, because they're trying to make it seem like they're the heroes. Again, journalists are not part of, they're not the stars of the show. They're not, they're, you're supposed to report the facts and nothing but the facts. But no, let's see this. Shields. This and guy, what they're going to then have to make this a decision hipster, to do. Pause. This hipster is now, we fast forward a little bit into this, and uh, he's about to hit the window with his skateboard. Now show him. Yo, man, borders support Black Lives Matter too, man. Fuck, you're going to wreck your trucks there, sir. Is to either hold, which is they expect these windows to be broken and people to advance. Expect it. And this is going to be the line that the officers draw. That oh, he's nerdy as fuck. Pause. Than- Look at this fucking pussy. This is the guy that's, the, again, he doesn't give a fuck about Eric, uh, I was going to say Eric Gardner, George Floyd. He don't care. He's there for the violence. He's there because he thinks he's making a difference. Besides sitting there getting no pussy and uh, and 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 just essentially being a social justice warrior. That's that's it. Now his now's his time to shine. You know where when everything else is on fire. Oh, I'm gonna now I'm gonna take a stand against corrupt police. Okay, let's see. This, the decision. That's more just complicated want, for them. Plus, you just want to see somebody like a, an actual, like an actual, like any number of these uh, African American gentlemen standing right here, just to fucking clock, just cold cock them right in the fucking head. Is whether or not to move forward because they only have where this white guy with the skateboard is standing. <laughs> Puzz, I love it. I love it. Where that white guy with the fucking skateboard is standing, perfectly described. That's the only way out of the building yeah. for them. And they will not fit through there. Yeah, that's right. And that is a very dangerous thing to do. So they are doing a stand and hold right now. What are you hearing? Her, hearing well, it's, some it's shit. It's pretty clear that these officers are nervous. They're seeing this situation de-escalate. 
Um, they're trying to, as you say, hold this line here. Oh, the, and the white to, guy to, to got hurt. The police officers so far, we have seen them not use much force while they've been having these large objects thrown at Okay, enough of, enough of CNN. CNN trying to be the heroes of their own story. So again, uh, you know, a lot of people are, are mad about this. A lot of people, uh, this was how I felt. <laughs> this is from a clip from the shield and, uh, the shield, my favorite television show of all time, of course, uh, starring the great Michael Chiklis as Vic Mackey. This is how people, I, I, I don't know if they feel that this is what police officer do, but watch how Mackey just takes these fucking, this fucking guy down. <laughs> Make me shoot you asshole! Chasing him. The guy jumps a fence. Mackie just takes him out. Alright, slap me, you start talking! Start talking. Uh, <laughs> I remember because the, the episode he also says he's just like, uh, start talking or I'm gonna. He's <laughs> like, oh, I think he breaks out some crack or some shit. Um, to essentially, uh,. Uh, I don't know, to threaten to plan on him and, and things like that. So there's a few, uh, inst I guess, issues with uh, all this. The first, let's just talk about Obama real quick, where people are saying that Trump's wording of things is racist, him using terms like, uh, like I think, like thug and, and stuff like that. Let's, let's listen to Obama. This is from the Baltimore protests. Uh, let's uh, take a take a little listen. My understanding is, is you've got some of the same organizers now going back into these communities to try to clean up in the aftermath of a handful of protests, uh, a handful of uh, criminals uh, and thugs who uh, who tore up the place. That could have been Trump saying that shit, but it was Obama. Oh no, it's okay. Obama uses that sort of language, but, but Trump can't. Okay, I, I see. I see how it is. Um. So uh, there's a few uh, a few things I guess uh, to uh, start off right off the bat. I like this clip from Malcolm X, kind of talking about um, talking white, talking some white people here. Uh, so it's only a minute uh, 42, but he has a lot of good points here, a lot of good points here, Malcolm X. But being friendly and being a friend, I think, are two different things. I think there are many whites who act friendly toward Negroes. A fox acts, acts friendly toward the lamb. Mm -hmm. And usually the fox is the one who ends up with the lamb chop on his plate. Mm -hmm. The wolf doesn't act friendly. And therefore the <coughs> wolf has more difficulty in getting the lamb chop in his plate. I'd like to point out, though, that... I, I, I say that because it is usually the... If you study the structure of the Negro community, economically, politically, civically, psychologically, and otherwise, it's controlled by the white liberal mm -hmm. who usually poses as the friend of the Negro, who actually differs from the white conservative in, in the same way that the fox differs from the wolf. I'm suspicious of whites who join Negroes and always have to be in the lead, who always have to be the head, who always have to be at the top in Negro organizations. Those whites who really have the interest of blacks at heart let them give some advice to some Negroes and stand on the sideline. But don't join the organization and then get at the head of it and pose as a friend of Negroes. Today, you could point to a large number of, of Negro leaders who have consistently betrayed Negroes in a whole host of areas. They aren't really Negro leaders. These are puppets that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. These are parrots that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. You can't name me a Negro leader who has been a Negro leader who has been who has betrayed Negroes? Who is not? Who has not been endorsed, sanctioned, uh, subsidized, and supported by the white liberal? Huh. Malcolm X, wise dude, wise fucking dude. Uh, so yes, uh, you see guys like Sean King. Sean King apparently isn't even black, but no, we'll we'll still parade everything out. Uh, and, uh, and, and claim that, you know, I'm doing what's, I'm doing what's best. Now there's been a bunch of conspiracy theories, uh, regarding, uh, what's going on here with, uh, 
with this uh, protest. One, this one was an interesting one where somebody claimed that that video was faked. I guess this was a this was a fake video um, because there was no protesters. But you can see like the camera, the, they could have just been standing further back. Well, let's see what this guy was talking about. Where is the people that was taking the footage from over at the corner? Circulated right video. Nobody there. Enough. There you go. Nobody over here taking the fucking footage. Where was all that people that said, Come Pause. On. I'll tell you where they were. When you look back on the original video, there's this garbage can that's a little bit further off to the left that this person hasn't uh, gone to. But maybe they play it. Off his neck. Check if he got a pause. Oh, he dying. His nose bleeding. Where is the people now? I told you it's a hoax. Where is the people that was there touting the police officers? It's all, so they're off, off camera. Where they at? They're off Where's camera. The ones that take the Pause, because you can, I can easily debunk this, because uh, the angle isn't even right. So if he thinks that they'd stand in here to get it, they he would, the people standing there would miss that, uh, would get the bumper and stuff. They're standing at an angle where. They're clearly they would be off camera from this, but this guy's like, oh, where, where are the cameraman? Where are all the people? It's the hoax. I don't think it's a hoax, sir, but yo, dumb on. Sir, a Floyd shit. pinned on the there ground. Oh, right there, actually. Now we're now we're getting into a situation, cause you go here. Where's that garbage can? Is it further off on the other side of the door? So it could still be possible if they had a good camera. But it's even it's even harder. It's easier to say that oh where are they? But they're probably still further off because that angle is is. I'm looking at the picture right now of the, from him from this video and and it is further it was further back than uh, this. But this guy where are they? On the they're gone. Nobody there, people. Nobody. I already told you the first thing I asked. Why the person with the camera didn't come he around so we it. can see it from the next angle where they ho where we can see his whole body and there you go we get UFO style I told you the UFO style videos pay attention circulated right video what three you're officers what gonna do about this now people now that I put it out that the people that were supposed to be recording it from this side is not there what they're gonna do for the damage control because they're gonna oh, come what's their empty space who take the video from this side. Who was the people that talking to the police? Dumb the fuck Around, down. While another stands <laughs> over them, you can hear Floyd Nobody pleading inside. for air. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you get these shots right here now, people. Oh, do you get this with nobody? I just show you that sound. Now, if you could zoom it in, I would imagine. Nobody on that side. But if you go back, nobody on that side. But... Couldn't they be further back from that doorway? I would imagine. I could. I, I could imagine. But that's a hoax going around that no one was there. Uh, there's another one with. Um, where is this? Uh, I guess this is. Uh, this is one on ambulance. People never even showed up. It was just uh, fucking cops, according to uh, according to this one conspiracy. We'll just oh here. Look, fam, I know this is hard to watch, but okay, I, I need y'all to pay attention to something that no one seems to be talking about. Now this is the, the roughest part of the video. Plus, here. when did James Earl Jones do voiceover work for for conspiracy videos? Let's let's continue. Man has already passed, but this is when they called the ambulance. Nobody seemed to take notice of something I noticed. What did you right. notice, Simba's so father? Pulling the gurney out right here, as you can see. All right, it's going to, you're going to get glimpses of this. Luke, I am your father. I want you to notice something. You're going to come over. You're going to see somebody somewhat check his pulse. We're waiting, Mufasa. Waiting. Come on. Just pay attention now. Now, here's where it's at, where I'm talking about. When all this starts to happen, pay close attention to this. We are. We're that watching. That man right there that you can see, that, poli that, that guy in the top of the screen. Yes. That's about to walk over to the man. He gets out the way. Just look at this. This man who's touching him. All right? Not the officer. The man with the, with the watch on right there. I want you all to pay attention to something to him. He has a bulletproof vest on. 
Yeah. Right? He has an officer's uniform on. No one paid attention to that when the ambulance pulled in, not one EMT got above the vehicle. But there's no medical equipment there whatsoever. That there were cops who jumped out of the back of that ambulance and picked up that man and put him in there. So they didn't even give him medical attention. And those were not the EMTs. When they show him, look at that. Those are police officers. Those armed police officers are taking that man away. There is no EMT on the scene. There is that's. It's like it's a sham. They got an ambulance and put police officers in there and wouldn't pick that dead man up off the street. That was some straight bullshit. Okay. Uh, did it play the whole thing? Well, I I, I guess um, I wouldn't know enough to know if uh, that was an op, I guess, a, um, an EMT's an EMT's uh, uniform or not. Uh, there was another one with... Um, did I not download? Uh... I may not have downloaded this one, but there was a, a woman who claimed uh, that um, essentially the police have uh, dis were disrupting their their cell phones and shit. But it was all essentially white people who uh, who were who were being the. Uh, the violent ones, and they were uh, trying to incite uh, riots and shit. Um, I'm not sure where... Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure even where uh, where that clip would be. But, um, yeah, we're, so we'll play... Uh... I guess this is another one where um, this conspiracy is... Uh, they have guys of, of agents of uh, it, misinformation or, or some shit... Or people that uh, are trying to uh, trying to create this sort of stuff. Um, we have uh, this gentleman who he found. You know, some people like to throw throw uh, baseballs and and stuff like that. Others apparently like to throw bricks. And this was just apparently no construction in sight, according to this gentleman. And uh, there's a whole fucking pallet of bricks there. How the fuck did they get there? Right here? Yeah, they put them there on purpose. This the setup. They put them there on purpose, Y'all know bro. where we at. They gonna set them on right up on the route. Of Y'all a... know what building this is Come right here. Now. I ain't even gonna say what name it is. Hey, where do them bricks go to? Where a do bank setup. Where do them bricks go to? We gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction. Gotta do better. Ain't no damn construction around here. I see. Ain't no damn construction around here. You just gonna set a pallet of bricks right there. Oh, okay. Listen, I did jury duty three months ago. Y'all don't keep no bricks right there. <laughs> better. I did jury duty, so I know where all the construction is here in the here in town. That's fun. It is pretty suspicious, uh, if you ask me. Um, uh, if uh, you know they got bricks, and it's just like, well, where where did these fucking bricks come from? Um, and 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 stuff, right? Like, you have you have a whole pile of bricks just down in. Uh, in one area with, uh, you know, and how heavy are bricks? How heavy are fucking bricks? Let's get real. Uh, oh, I'm trying to find this fucking video. Uh, essentially, again, so you could have a place where... Oh, we could... Uh, oh, this this is another promising uh, promising video. Wolf Blitzer missing George Soros is funding everything. Oh, that's a fucking loud clip too. But uh, yeah, because there's also there's also conspiracies with um, again not just the bricks, but people wearing uh, masks and things going to these areas to incite these uh, incite these riots. Uh, I didn't. I don't really. I I believe that partially because you see the violence and uh, oh here we go this is the be shared outside of Minnesota so at least I want to share a few things that my neighbors have okay we'll bring this over here continue miss let's hear that about the protests yesterday first of all it was a protest it was not a riot six white men who the organizers who are all black women begged to stop with their rowdiness decided to do all the vandalism and turn it into a riot it wasn't a riot 
Also, the police put up jammers so that people cannot live stream. And so it was very hard for people to actually live stream because they didn't want people to see what was happening. They also shot rubber bullets into the crowd and would not let EMTs or EMCs actually get to the people there. People would call 911 saying, hey, they were hurt by a rubber bullet, and they wouldn't be able to get to the hospital. People actually had to drive people who were hit in the head with rubber bullets to the hospital. Also, I... Good morning. I know a lot of things are okay. going to be shared outside of Minnesota. So so she's going to... She has a bunch more to say. I want to put a, an image up right now, just this document here. And apparently this document is something along the lines of uh, Friends of Democracy. So from what I've gathered from this, it's essentially a group where it looks like sending people to fuck shit up. So if I go here and I am zoom in about uh, uh, practices here or... Uh, Approved practices, you may, not, uh, you may not under any circumstances deviate from the practices in, enumerated in this section. Uh, do not name this individual point of contact, D.A. Donnelly. Do not name this individual in any comms or in person. This does not leave... This does not leave this document. Well, fuck, cat's out of the bag, D.A. Donnelly. Hand-to-hand, uh, -hand. closed fist may be used only below the neck and above the belt. Open hands may be used where at, wherever. Kicking is not permitted unless provoked with no other recourse. Do not reach for LE weapons or make any moves that could m be misconstrued as reaching for their weapon. Uh, general behavior. Uh, do not congregate with other ops or Ox ops in groups of more than two. Uh, do not make prolonged eye contact or speak with uh, more than two other ops or ox ox ops. If you must speak with other ops ox ops directly, please do not do so via blah blah blah. When not in crowds, keep hands out of pockets and keep them visible. Avoid being caught in open spaces. Stick to close to other locals participating in demonstrations. So they're basically having people go in to fuck shit up. And we're again, we got some, we got some more information about this. And this is from the Friends of Democracy, George Soros and and his his family, I guess. Uh, avoid being caught. Oh, uh, do not spend too much time on your. 328BG, use it sparingly. We're trusting you to act independently as much as possible. Navigate using only the approved protect, per, uh, protected corridors. Um, stick to your personality profile assignment. Aggressiveness. Agitators will update you before mobilization or on sound signs and co uh, codes used to identify friendly uh Officials, essentially. Do not engage with them on any level that may be perceived as friendly. Allied LEs may have be, may been instructed merely to not engage. They have not been told they have not been told to assist. Blah 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 blah. Only escalate uh, per those instructions if and when they come. Props do not bring anything to the demonstration. You may only engage in the use of props if other local demonstrators have already done so. Bottles, rocks, sticks, and other small blunt objects are permissible as long as the use of props, props they're calling it, for a protest has already occurred among other demonstrators. So again, I believe that they're putting out people who are fucking stuff up. Um, essentially, yes, Friends of Democracy. Put it up right up here on the screen. There's the Friends of Democracy. And then we have all this stuff, approved practices. And this was put in in 2015 around, uh, I think they said Freddie Gray. Um, one of the things interesting, again, what's Friends of Democracy when you see OpenSecrets.org? Uh, donors and their uh, pack to pack party. And then you just see all the uh, contributors. Jonathan Soros, Jonathan Soros, Alex Soros, George Soros, Jonathan Soros, uh, Sean Parker, who the fuck is that? 
uh, Matt Cutts. I'm Matt Cutts. Uh, but George, the Soros family easily over, looks like $2 million because Jonathan, he donated uh, at least uh, 11 and a half or yeah, eleven and a half million dollars and fucking uh, Alex is donating 370000 and George is doing 250. Oh, fuck, then Jonathan donated again 250000 So pretty fun, uh, pretty conspicuous that these guys are, uh, you know, there's people that are just uh, showing up and they're just breaking shit uh, and and there's instructions. Now, the, granted, there was a, a d- documents can be forged and things like that. Um, I wanted to hear what uh, Wolf Blitzer said about George Soros. Later that we heard that there was one here at CNN as well. This all transpired in less than an hour. The concern is how coordinated could this have been? Yeah, it's a very, very disturbing development because, uh, as you as you guys point out, uh, there have been several suspicious packages delivered uh, uh, to George Soros, uh, the uh, the Democratic uh, a billionaire who's been funding a lot of these activities on behalf of Democrats uh, outside of New York City, uh, Chappaqua, New York, uh, outside of New York City, the Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton residence. Uh, that suspicious package was discovered off-site. Similarly, uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, the, the suspicious package delivered to the residents here in Washington, D.C., of former President Obama. That was found off-site, and a suspicious package uh, addressed to the White House was found intercepted at Joint Base Bowl. And Obama. So, so it, he funds a lot of Democratic stuff. It just seems really fishy that there's things attaching him to this where you got basically agents of of uh, misinformation and, and shit like that uh, going to protests and purposely causing uh, causing issues. So this one was, I think this was just some guy. There's a protest going on. Oh, we got to open. Uh, a guy in a black umbrella. Uh, part of that shit. Just smashing shit. He's smashing just the windows. And he's got he's a he's in a black clothing. Now do they say that he could possibly be a a, a police officer and Oh, we got Obama back. Uh, there's, a, I have a longer clip of uh, of this. Oh, this is, uh, I believe, this is the correct, the correct clip. Just this guy in all black, smashing window. Those cops will come for you if you're pulling that crap. They're following this guy now? This came and... Sm- hey, you guys takes a hit of this joint... Guy has gas mask hey, on. Hey, hey. Are you a fucking cop? What's up? He's he's all in black. All in all in black, and he's just going and protesting and smashing uh, shit. And now he's trying to get out. Now it fits that profile of what I just read pretty goddamn, pretty goddamn close, you know. Smash, and he's not like engaging, walking away. And this fucking one uh, black gentleman. You know, the ball's on him, smoking the joint, and then he's fucking following this guy. But this guy has a black umbrella, he's a gas mask on, he's concealing his, uh, his identity. And essentially, there was a conspiracy going around, it was this guy, right here, a police officer. Now, it also happened that uh, apparently this guy's ex-wife or some shit, um, and I'd have to, uh, I'd have to check this out. I uh, guess it was... Uh, an exchange between a, a, a friend and stuff. And 
she just like I know, and I well, I think I think they put it out that it was is not him, but that's what they would want to say. Uh, and she's like, "I'm ninety percent sure." Voice, walk, everything. Me too. Looks exactly like him. Do you recognize any of the gear? And then the girl, the wife is like, "The gas mask. His boots are tactical. He had two pairs." Now I don't know if that's true. And he's, I know his p- partner was working the fires. Oh, really? She, the friend says. So if they were both already in M, M- I don't know what MPLS is. They, that's my gas mask. The gloves too. Holy shit, Megan! I'm shaking. I thought the eyes looked just like him. I know the rest of, you know the rest better. Obviously, he'd be psycho. He'd be psychotic enough, Megan. I don't doubt it. The friend says. Now, they put out a statement saying that it was fake, but again, suspicion is is, you know, there with uh with some of this uh some of this stuff. So what did we learn what have we learned here? Uh have we learned anything? You know, people are treated a little uh a little bit differently. Oh, that was the gas mask uh shit. But yeah, I don't know if uh I don't know if this is if if this is him. I have to put that up. You know, there's there's similarities, but it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to. Uh, it could be just some chick fucking around, right, and like trying to get this guy into into trouble. So there's not really, it's not really any uh, any you know truth or valid uh, you know anything valid uh, to to go along with that. So essentially, what we've learned is you know. Protests are probably going to continue for at least a few more days. They're going to peter out. Uh, you know, people are going to say there's going to be a bunch of change. Maybe there will be change. Maybe there wouldn't be. But everybody treating people equally maybe could be a, a start, at least from the the police perspective. And again, peace, most cops are, I'm sure, are fine uh, and and don't have any sort of significant issues. What the one police officer that I know personally that uh, you know from from where I'm from in Ontario, he's, he's, he's black. So I don't know. I don't know if there's this big, uh, big conspiracy. I think sometimes these issues, uh, don't necessarily get blown out of proportion, but, um, there are, there are issues that they face and, you know, they haven't had an easy time, but there's also some issues that are grown in the community as well. So you have to look at a bunch of different issues. That interaction right there, of course, was fucking completely wrong. But if that was a white guy and a black officer, it would be just as wrong. It didn't, you know, one color of skin does not make the other color of skin right. You know what I'm saying? In, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, but, you know, there's no way. Derek fucked up big time. That cock sucks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but, uh, let's, uh, let's cleanse the palate, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a couple more stories before we wrap up the show. Um, this one, apparently, and I just love the, this is like out of the movie sort of shit. Uh, coronavirus monkeys escape with COVID-19 samples after attacking assist lab assistant. One of the primates was reported later spotted up in a tree chewing on one of the sample collection kits. So it means a group of monkeys, so I did say a gang of monkeys. Fuck, I would hate to live where there are a gang of monkeys that would just... You have to be careful of monkeys. There was a a clip, um, I wonder if I have it here, uh, a clip of a monkey essentially fucking fucking shit up uh, with, um, uh, I guess, uh, fuck, I gotta find this clip now. I may I may not even have it. Monkey and 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 kid would be the uh would be the title of the the uh I guess the video or the anyway, so a, a monkey monkey grabs kid. Oh, right here. First thing pops up. Oh, of course, commercial. Well, we got Astro original. Who's that cunt? She likes those two and a half Two times the biotics. Oh. 
Okay, pause. There's a lot of things going on here. So okay, so if there, so if there's a monkey that's stealing COVID samples, imagine a monkey stealing a fucking baby. Uh, so a gang of monkeys attacked a, labor, a laboratory assistant and escaped with a batch of coronavirus blood test samples. It has been reported. The blo- bizarre incident. I gotta start wearing my glasses for reading these sh- this shit. Saw the troop of primate, primates launch their assault near Mirat Medical College in Delhi. I say Delhi, India. I know people say it differently, but in back home, there's a place called Delhi. So I'm going to say Delhi, India. Uh, is that the fucking story? That's it? Jesus Christ. So apparently that's that's all. They stole uh, stole samples, and now obviously monkeys could spread it. Unless a monkey's fucking a human or biting a human or doing something. Well, I guess, you know, if they're breathing and shit, monkeys are really close to us in terms of the animal world. But take a look at this fucking monkey. So this monkey strolls up on a motorcycle and starts to grab this child and drag her away. It's like, where the fuck was he? Is this is this what pedophiles do in Indonesia? Apparently in Indonesia. Uh, but what the fuck? Like, hi, you know, some pedophile has his monkeys. Like, go get that kid. And they this monkey goes and tries to grab him in broad daylight. If the monkey gets caught, the guy can just be like, fuck, I didn't tell the monkey to do that. Monkeys can't speak, so it's perfect alibi, really. Monkey rides up on a tiny bicycle, grabs the kid, and he's dragging this fucking kid. Holy shit! And the monkey was involved in a form of traditional entertainment. He just drives in, grabs the kid, whips him right off the bench, drags him back. That kid had to have been scraped on the ground. It was recorded May. Holy fuck. Well, I can't read what the rest of it is with stupid Don Lemon there. Anyway, so, yeah, the COVID... These fucking monkeys are grabbing grabbing kids. They're grabbing fucking... Uh, they're grabbing... Uh, uh, I don't know. They're <laughs> they're grabbing COVID samples. They're probably going to spread this shit. Uh, let's uh, wrap up. Let's cleanse the palate with uh, with this. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck this is, but for people who have video, goddamn, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. It looks like there's ass fire coming out of this guy's asshole. I, I would assume this is real, or it could be fake. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Play it again one more time. Oh. So it's you got a guy here, and it's just... It's like the guy in the protest. Imagine if they were doing that. Maybe this is what happened. He was maybe this guy was at the protest uh, for uh, for um, uh, what was his name? I gotta look it up. Uh, Floyd, Floyd, of course, George, George Floyd. I have to remember P- Curious George Pink Floyd. That's that's how you remember uh, names and things like that. What's the, what's a, a name that you would associate? The only other thing that I would associate the name George with would be, would probably be that stupid book of mice and men. Cause I think there was a character named George, George. It was cause we like used to mock the fucking book. So, uh, George was obviously in there. He, I think he mercy Lenny just fucking shot him in the head or some shit. Uh, but imagine if that protester who was breakdancing in the middle of the protest just took a fucking, took one of those smoke grenades they were kicking into CNN, shoved it into his asshole, and this would be the result, essentially. I don't even know where that is from. I just, I saw it one day on Twitter. You grab this shit and you roll with it. So that's our show, ladies and gentlemen. Again, thank you very much for listening, supporting me, giving me feedback. Really means a lot. And I'm going to continue producing shows, uh, you know, of this caliber in the future. Uh, for, you know, for now, subscribe to the Mass Scale Podcasting Network on iTunes. Rate, review, and share it with somebody who enjoys podcasting. The show is also available on numerous podcasting apps, 
Uh, there's a fucking ton of them that I wasn't even aware of. Uh, just search up Mass Scale Podcasting Network on Google or whatever search engine. They'll all show up, so, you know, take your pick. But, you know, Podbay, Stitcher, those are two main ones. Uh, check out MassScale.tv, my website. Working on revamping that up uh, a little bit. Updating the podcast section, too, because that's fucking been a, been a minute. Uh, and, uh, of course, check out my upcoming Patreon and, uh, you know, follow me on Twitter, too, MassScale91. And until next time, thank you very much for listening, ladies and gentlemen, and peace and love.